This is just a random one. What did people say when I went from normal to like this? This, this. It's not the norm. I walk around and I don't think about it. I don't think, Tandy, you are dressed like, you know, I, I don't think like that. I'm just walking around until people point it out. Until the cashier asks, can you tell me why you dressed like that? Or until a man says, can I just tell you that you dressed so beautifully? Or until a doctor says, you know, you always wear skirts. I really should get some skirts. All I have are jeans and you always look so good in your skirts. It's not always on my mind. Until I see someone who's dressed like me. I, really, uh, okay, no offense to the Muslims. It's normal for you, for Muslims to be dressed a certain way. So it doesn't stand out as much, but I'm not Muslim. And so when I see someone who's black like me, or on Friday, I saw a white lady. I assume she's Jewish. I don't know what she is, but she was dressed like me. She had a head scarf on, duke. She had long sleeved, loose um, dress on. And I thought, wow, there's someone who's dressed like me. That's when I realized that I'm alone. Not alone, but I'm alone, seriously. Here in Cape Town, people don't dress like this they really don't so it is not normal it is abnormal and so for me to have gone from normal to abnormal it did raise a few eyebrows and it called forth unsolicited comments so here we go just random stuff some were positive um the first positive one i can think of is the one i shared before about when we did when i went modest the lady on the street who got out the taxi before way before she even got to the suburb she was going to to say i could tell that you two must be christians because no other girls walk around wearing long skirts um that says a lot and i will not cannot belabor this point enough god has a reason for everything he tells us to do so when he says a woman should be shamefaced sober modest whatever it, there's a reason and that was the reason to show forth his glory not ours and that is partly why we cover our head because it says the first corinthians 11 says the woman's hair is her glory so i don't want my glory to be seen i want god's glory and so that's why i cover my head but that's not the point we've already done the why part what happened family i'll start with family um it was my parents my mother asked when are you gonna stop dressing like this as if it's some passing phase. <laughs> well, here I am, probably 23 years later, and I, 24 years later, I'm still like that. So, not anytime soon. My dad was, he said, he didn't actually say anything. He mentioned that the day I was at a hospital in a predominantly Muslim area, Gatesville. It's generally mostly Muslim from what I can see. Um, and most of the patients and visitors were Muslim. So he says, yeah, you fit in with all of these others. You look like a terrorist like them. It was after 20, 2001. You look at like a terrorist like them. And I thought, well, hmm. okay, I'm not going to change. <laughs> I'm not going to stop. Um, the only other thing he has said after that, thereafter, many years later, was that when he sees me, I remind him of Titus 2, which is good because that's what I'm aiming for. I am living Titus 2. So, hey, if my seeing him reminds him of the Bible, perfect. So I'll take that as a positive. I don't know about the terrorist comment because most Muslims I know are not terrorists. So, yeah. Actually, I don't know any terrorists. <laughs> Let's just make that clear. <laughs> um, so there is that. Church friends were different. I had the friend who said, yeah, right, you are dressing like this. She was totally naked. Um, yeah, right, you're dressing like this, but during the week, yeah, yeah, whatever, it's just for church. And I said to her, no, this is our heart change. And when my heart changes, it's not just a, a put on, you know, I'm not just faking it, it's real. And God is everywhere, every day. <laughs> so I'm glorifying him every day so this is me during the week as well so that was her a different friend 
she said it just came out of the blue this thing it's not like a go around saying hey guys what do you think about how i'm dressed do you like it he just says out of the blue when are you gonna take that sign of oppression off and i said sorry <laughs> I, I, I didn't even know what he was talking about then he says yeah you're oppressed that's why you've got that thing on your head <laughs> So I told him, well, given I chose it, then I'm oppressing myself. And hey, it's my choice to oppress myself. So I'm not going to take it off. I don't want to take it off. Yeah, but that's a sign of oppression for women. Men have oppressed. I'm like, okay, well, you are a Seventh-day Adventist. So that means you believe the Bible and you read it. It's written by men. So now you're also oppressed. I was going to say now, which is, is closer for you too. But some of you might not be closer because... So in that case, you're also oppressed because you are, I hope, following the Bible, which was written by men, and God is male. Don't even start. God is male. And so we're both oppressed. So I just choose to show it this way. That was him. Years later, a different friend, who um, saw me and my friend both change at the same time, she says to me, years later, she says, you know, we rest of the students were watching you we were wondering when you'd stop and so when your friend stopped we thought ha just a matter of weeks and they will both stop but it's been years and you haven't so there that's my confession we thought you would but you haven't i don't know if in her head she was thinking when are you stopping or she's thinking you're crazy but either way you know, and we were real, we were different, but real. So she told me, hey, I'm about to put earrings on. And of course, that was anathema to me. So I asked, what does your husband think? As in, does he agree with this? Is he behind you? Um, is he okay with it? I didn't mean, would he give you permission? But she thought I meant, will he give you permission? Because she said, well, it doesn't matter what he thinks because I'm not asking him. So I just, I had to rephrase it and say, no, but what does he think? Is he disappointed? Is he okay? Because I really do want to know. I know how I feel if my husband does something that is against me, but I believe God's principles are. So I just wanted to know how it ref it impacted their relationship. But that's not what we hear about. We're about we're here about me. How did my husband react? When I met my husband, he was from Zimbabwe. Though South African, he's by by origin, he's from he was born in Zimbabwe, and he saw me and he's like you got that he saw my pictures then he said you got baptized with braids on we would never baptize someone who's got braids because of the chapter that says not with braided hair etc which is not braided hair blah 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 but to a meek and a quiet, quiet spirit so it was, you never got baptized with artificial braids in and he didn't like the pants at pants thing um because for him it was Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. So I kind of, that's when I actually first started questioning how I dressed. It was him and at the same time, soon after, it was those guys at the salon who said, just because I happened to be wearing a dress that time, that, oh, you know, she's an Adventist, that's why she's dressed this way, etc. So when I found out about the head covering, he was in the UK raising money for Lobola. Yes, I was paid a bought. Um, I was bought, bribed, price, whatever you want to call it. And um, I'd, I sent him a, me a message and I said, why in the world didn't you tell me that First Corinthians 11 says I should cover my head? Uh, he told me everything else. Why didn't you tell me this? So he claims that he, he figured I'd find it on my own because he knew I loved to read. I don't know if he actually had figured it out himself. Hey, this is the men. Some men have egos. So... I won't say if he actually really had thought that. I can't say. So as I changed, I showed him what I was changing, um, what was causing me to change. And he would also change accordingly. So he didn't have a problem with it. Someone even asked me, the same guy who said, when am I taking my sign of oppression off? He asked me, but what does your husband think? Doesn't he want you to be sexy out in public? And I said, no. He's actually fine with me being sexy for him at home, not in public. So he doesn't care. And I don't care. I'm following God. And God matters more than my husband does. And that's something I just want to comment on. I've, I joined some groups when I was 
becoming becoming more serious or when I started changing because there was no one else around me who had stayed the course. So it was just me. None of my friends were dressing like me anymore at all. Well, the one friend had even left the country, but she doesn't dress like me either. So it was just me. So I wanted some kind of fellowship. So I was on Facebook and all these groups and so many women would say, I want to cover my head, but my husband says no. And God said, my husband is the head, so I'll listen to him. God also said, we ought to obey God rather than man. So I'm sorry, ladies, I can't go with that. I really, I don't, I don't agree with that. If he's not going to hurt you, then cover your head anyway. It's not like you have to cover it in bed or, you know, there are times when you, you, you and him can be together naked, fully naked. So I, I, I don't, um, I, I can't excuse that. I can only excuse it if you're scared for your life. Then, then you've got a problem because he's not a Christian anyway. And whew, that's a whole other thing. But I can't, I will never obey my husband and disobey God. That I will never do. God comes first. So whatever my husband would have thought, I didn't care. Then there was the nice, sweet church young student comment. I was still in my 20s, 19, 20, 21. And he says to me, you know, he and his brother were both medical students. And he says, you remind me of my mother. The way you're dressed with that on your head and the way you're dressing. My mother dresses like that. And my mother used to pray for me all the time. She prayed for us desperately. And I am what I am today because of my mother. So seeing you just reminds me of my mom and it just makes me warm. That was the highest compliment I have ever received. For me, okay, Titus 2 actually might be the highest, but they they come, they work together. For me to remind someone of someone who prayed for them ceases, ceaselessly, that was the most important thing and the man who said i look religious because that's my whole point i want to look like what i am in my heart i want to look externally like what i am in my heart so i was happy i was really i loved that it really touched me i really am glad that he said that and i'm so glad that he had a mom who prayed for him and who lived her faith no matter how others lived or dressed or looked. But yes, reaction, reactions really don't matter. Whether we are called is Islamic terrorists, whether we are told we look religious, whether we are told we look humble, it doesn't matter what people say. What matters is how we believe God feels about us and our obedience to him. And that's it. Reactions don't actually matter. They don't matter. God's love, God's approval, God's gratitude. That's what matters. And that is why I will continue to keep following him every day from now on, I pray. I hope that nothing will ever move me and take me away from him, ever. He is my father. He's my maker. He's my redeemer, my savior. And he's the only one who's ever been true and faithful to me. So this is nothing, as I said before, this is nothing. They can watch and wait for me to change and stop. They can ask me, you know, you're going to stop dressing like this. They can complain that I dress my children this way and they don't like it because then they can't find clothes that are modest for my children. I don't care. Yeah, that's family. What I care about is God. Because he loves me unconditionally. Let me know if you mean if you got any interesting comments. Share them. Thank you.